Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogToRead.com. Please subscribe to a blog to read videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of a really great watch, um, something that I think a lot of people might easily over, uh, overlook, but this is a great watch and I'll explain. This is the Ulysses Nardin Executive Dual Time. Now first let me mention that inside this watch is I believe the UN24 um, automatic movement which is not exclusive to this collection so if you like this movement but aren't completely enthused with the design of the executive dual time there they have other watches that contain this movement it's a very slick movement and it's great um, this is a watch when it first came out I thought to myself that's cool but it doesn't look at all like a Ulysses Nardin watch and that's true um, even they themselves admit that in terms of a brand DNA perspective this is a very different looking watch um, they don't they have stuff that looks similar to this and you can see where they've taken elements but overall they really created something very different um, and it took me a while to really look at it and understand it and now that I've been wearing it I, I love it I think it's great um, the case is 42 millimeters wide um, this version's in steel they have versions in uh, gold and um, other things like that this one has a ceramic bezel black ceramic bezel, highly polished, looks great, very scratch resistant and the dial is amazing and the dial does some very very special things. Now forget the complications for a second one thing I want you to see is as I'm moving this around no matter how shiny it is or how much little sort of um, you know sparkle it's getting those hands are damn legible and one of the lessons I can tell you if you're an aspiring watchmaker out there or you are a watch brand is use, use diamond cut metal elements um, aside from the Roman numerals, there's thin diamond cut baton hour markers and the hands are diamond cut. What that does is create a very sharp polish which refracts light in a way which does not create a lot of glare. So this is an extremely legible watch for what it is and I love that. There's a sapphire crystal with AR coating and, but the dial itself is shiny. There's a lot of things on here which are very very shiny but despite that fact legibility remains very very strong and I like that. The case is steel and very nicely done. Um, it's not a limited edition but you can see here there's a number and uh, I think all you listening or didn't watch us have this. Um, if, it's a, if, it, if it is a limited edition, they'll have the limited edition number here. If it's not, that's a serial number, which I think is really cool because every single one has its own serial number and it's, it's sort of mounted on the little plaque on the side. You can see the pushers here. These are ceramic as well. Um, and these pushers are for the GMT and I'll get to that in a second. Um, nice form-fitting alligator strap. I want to show you the bracelet. I was really impressed. Again, this is a great watch and all the little details are impressive. Um, look at those, the metal. Done very nicely. You have that Ulysses Nardin um, initials there done in relief. Uh, the craftsmanship of the of the buckle here is just very very nice. Not only does it look unique, but it works very very well. It's very satisfying. Click, and then you sort of push the sides here to release it. You can see the movement there. Um, nicely done. Very well polished. That nice black Ulysses Nardin automatic rotor, and the movement underneath is very very well polished. I like how they did it. Just it looks <clears throat> it looks real nice. The case is also water resistant to 100 meters and not being a sports watch per se, I like that and you can see right there the Ulysses Nardin uh, logo stuck in the crown there and it's a screw down crown. So let's talk about the movement for, in, for just a second because it's, it's a very cool movement, it's very very useful. You have the time, subsidiary seconds, big date indicator and then you have the GMT. So you have here this, um, this number which is is uh, in 20 is 24 hours and that's going to be your your local time so if you're this is a, this makes it a good travel watch so that's your local time so you use that for the hour and then the minute hand for the minute so it'd be two um, almost 45 so about 240 there so then you use these pushers if you're moving east or west and so you'll sit there and you can add time or you can subtract time and I think that that's just fantastic just awesomely fantastic that you have these pushers because some GMT watches have one pusher um, it only goes one direction or you have to fiddle with a crown this one you can just push these pushers as you're traveling through time zones and it makes it very very easy so you always have your local time and then you have your home time in 24 hour format in that little window there which I think is great so as a watch has two time zones it looks like it has one time zone but you have to understand what that number is there for and again that's very distinct in the big date indicator which is actually in terms of big date indicators it's it's very diminutive because it has black discs on a black dial and it looks you know relatively subdued so I, I think they did a really good job um, in terms of the integration this movement is fantastic um, 
I really can't say enough good things about, about it. And the executive dual time has proved to be quite a handsome one. So let's just get it on the wrist there for a second. You can see um, how it looks on there. So there it is. That's 42 millimeters. You know, uh, not a huge watch, not a small watch, a very respectable size. Um, for me, the test is that the lugs go all the way to the end of my wrist, so that's fine. So I like, I like that. And, th and in this version in particular, what they do is they have the excess strap wrapping um, on this side of the wrist. You'll often find that's on the outside of the wrist, but they do on the inside here so that this side of the watch is a little bit more seamless. I love the integration, again, of the strap in the case here. That's very nicely done, elegant, uses custom pieces, um, and it, it offers sort of a more interesting, exclusive look. So there you have it. The Ulysses Nardin Executive Dual Time comes in different styles. Um, and it's not very thick as well, given what it is, not very thick. Um, really enthused by this watch. Retail price on this version is $8,700, which I would say is, is pretty fair price for what you're getting. And you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.